Okay, hello and good morning. Uh, my name is Brian Collins and I'm gonna be walking you through some basic command things today. Um, this should be a fairly short video and we should be able to get through most of the basics right now. So what we're gonna do is have you go to agent.kw.com. You don't need to do the slash login. If you just do agent.kw.com, uh, that'll put it in there for you. And you'll be into this page here and you're going to put in your username and your password that you were assigned. Um, if this is your very first time logging into Command Ever, there's gonna be a couple extra little clicks and stuff that you have to go through um, to get to the page you're gonna see next. But once you get there, we're on the same page. So we're gonna go ahead and click the sign in button down here. Sometimes in Command, you may see that the little sign in button is uh, has a little error uh, X through it or something like that, like you can't do it. If you just click the button anyways, it will still log you in. Um, also, another thing we should talk about, you should be in Google Chrome. Um, Command was built with Google, uh, hand in hand with Google, so it works the absolute best in Google Chrome. And um, yeah, so if you're in Edge or Safari or any other Firefox, any other sort of um, web browser, Internet Explorer, I don't even think that's around anymore, but if you're in any other browser, please, please, please um, close it out, log into Command via uh, Google Chrome. Okay, so let me move me over here a little bit. Um, so what you're going to see here, this is going to be your welcome screen. Um, you will always see uh, some tasks that are due here. If you have some tasks due, um, this will be like your, your home base, if you will. Anything that's new in designs, usually you'll see a little preview. I don't know why it's loading right now. I don't, maybe the internet's slow. I don't know. Um, so you usually see a little preview of like new designs in Design Center. Um, here's some goals if you want to set up some goals for yourself. And then product updates. This is fun. Um, so you can up you can see what's been updated recently in the last week and um, it will they'll just put all those little updates there so you can see if there's any new features database health um, this tells you if you have a phone number email address address and neighborhoods to your clients so um, your score that's as much in the green right here compared to uh, everybody else with my market center so most people in the market center only have 45 percent I have 64 so I am above average there um, and then recent leads that will show up here. You'll see if any recent leads come through uh, your system. So let's get familiar just with the layout here. So this is your home base. This is where you come to look at things at a glance. Um, the next tab up here, well, this isn't a tab, but um, if you click on this red KW here, it will show you the names of all of the different things. So if you don't know the icons just yet, it's okay. Click on that little KW there and it'll bring up everything that you need. Um, so across the top here, we have three, we have, you will have two things. You'll see command and connect. Um, connect is where like we house like videos and stuff like that. Other trainings that you can take. Um, that's a really cool uh, place for you to visit. If you click on connect here, it should load up a page. And then if you're in any groups um, through uh, command there, so you'll see all of these little updates from all these groups that I'm in. I'm in the California and the Empire group, the command lab group, the labs group, technology ambassador, and then our Victor Valley group so I could put in here um, uh, you know something like this and I can put it just in the Victor Valley group and I can click send and so now this is going to put my post into the Victor Valley group or uh, look at so there's a volunteer for open houses um, they want to do open houses so I could say oh hey look at regime wants to you know do some open houses for me um, this right here is where you're going to find the actual KW Connect. This is just the Connect group tabs. Click on this right here and it will open up KW Connect. And there's lots of stuff in here that you can do. And we're going to actually touch on some of that stuff later. So we'll just go ahead and move back over here to Command. So we're going to go to Command. Back to our tab here. We're going to open up our little red KW up here so we can see what we've got going on. And the first thing that we're going to look at is Contacts. Now I know that I'm moving pretty fast um, and that's that's because I'm comfortable with this. So if you need to pause the video and then kind of go through what I'm looking at, you do that. Um, that way you can kind of study at your own pace and learn to see, you know, exactly what it is that we are, uh, what we're going through. So in command contacts here, this is your CRM, your consumer relationship manager. Um, there's a, quite a few functions in command. Um, Mainly, we want name, email addresses, phone numbers, or physical addresses for um, all of your contacts. And then, 
um, you can utilize the functions um, in that. Uh, smart plans is something that you can uh, implement. There are pre-made smart plans, and what these do is these set automatic email, text messages, um, all these different functions or whatever so that uh, if you meet somebody and they're not quite ready, you can put them on a smart plan so that every month it emails them a little tidbit of information just so that you stay top of mind and then when they're ready, they're going to come back to you. Um, so lots of cool different things with that. But the first thing you got to do is put contacts in to your database and we're going to go over that in just one minute. Let's look at the rest of the stuff. So here is the task tab. Um, smart plans, you can make a task that says, hey, um, after you email um, so-and-so, uh, you know, some information about houses, I'm going to create a task that, um, it's going to create a task that uh, reminds me to call them the next day. So then all of a sudden in my task, it says, hey, call, you know, Joe so that you can follow up to see if he liked the houses that you send him. So that's when you're going to see all these tasks. And we saw that on the home screen as well. Remember um, right here, this very first thing. It'll show any new task that you have. You can use this as a to-do list to remind yourself to do something like, oh man, I really need to follow up with um, uh, Susan in you know 10 days. I can create a new task and I can, it opens up the task tab for me and then I can, um, oops, I'm hitting create new task. Uh, follow up with Susan. And I can mark the task as a call, as a call task, so that I need to call her. But it could just be an email. So um, uh, email about the properties, right, that I sent her. Priority level, it's a high priority because she really wants to do this. And I'm going to do that in 10 days. So 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to call on Saturday. And I can set a time, let's just say 10 a.m., right? That's an easy one. Nope, I just set it for 10 p.m. <laughs> There we go, 10 a.m. And then I can add a link, like maybe I'm going to do a, maybe it's a Zoom call, something like that. I can add a Zoom meeting right there into the hyperlink, and I can create a task, and boom, there is my task. So it's due later. It will, um, it's due over one week away. So due next week, due tomorrow, due today. You can see it's kind of color-coded. So at a glance, you'd be like, what's red? What do I got to take care of right now? Um, and then as soon as I'm done with that task, I hit the button, and boom, I'm done it will just show up there. And if I go home, I'll probably see my task. It probably won't show up. Oh, okay, it does say I'm done. So follow up with Susan. Oh, Susan, I can complete the task, so now that task goes away. Okay, so that's the task tab. Let's click on our yellow, our red KW here. Let's talk about smart plans a little bit. So under the smart plans, um, I have, um, there's lots of different smart plans. Um, in my library, I've got some that I created myself. I've got some examples in there. But in the library, yours is probably going to be blank. When you come in here, smart plans is going to be blank because you don't have anything. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this library um, uh, button here. And then you're going to see there's a bunch of different. There's eight featured ones, and there's some 10 Keller Williams one. These, the, the 1,190 that are in here, these are all created by other people. Other people can use, you can use other people's smart plans. So here's a back to school design, email design. Here's a Thanksgiving uh, email design. Um, here's a Spanish um, uh, smart plan. Lots of them. We just met. Let's have lunch. You know, here's a smart plan. Just one touch. So this right here is a whole entire system, but you can go through here and you can see all of these different smart plans that are available um, to you. You can also create your own custom smart plans. Maybe you like the, the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture, you like that one, but you want to customize it a little bit. Or the 8x8 is actually a really good example. Um, 15 steps, duration of 56 days, 8 touches, right? So there's 15 steps and 8 touches. I mean, that client you put on a smart plan is going to be touched 8 times. And you can view the steps by clicking on here and you can say, oh, okay, so it's going to send an automated or manual text message. So if you don't have Twilio set up, it will, uh, Twilio is an automatic uh, text messaging system that you can integrate with command so that it sends text messages on your behalf. Um, so 
it'll you can it'll either create a task to send a text message if you don't have Twilio, or it will automatically send it for you if you do. Um, Twilio runs about three three dollars a month if you want to utilize it, um, and then it gets a little bit more from there. So it sends a text message, and then seven days it says, "Hey, interact with this." Ta- uh, it creates a task for you, and it says, "Interact with this contact." And then in seven days it creates a phone call task for you and says, hey, make a phone call. And then seven days, it'll send another te- text message or you can send one. Seven days. Adds a smart plan and then you um, it will create a different smart plan. Uh, make a phone call, send a text message. So it just reminds you this eight touches is, hey, do these things for your client. So that way you don't have to think about, oh, what client do I need to follow up with? The system tells you which ones you need to follow up with. Um, so those are really cool and there's a lot in there. So that's something that you can dive into after you have some contacts and you've kind of gotten a, an idea of the system. Referrals. You have an out of state client who wants to buy a house and you're trying to find somebody out of state. You know, your aunt calls you and says, oh, hey, I want to buy a house. Um, how can I do that? Can you tell me the best agent that's out here? You can go find the, the top agent in that area, send them the referral business and um, you make passive income. They pay you a referral fee. Um, and this system here, the referral network is how we find other Keller Williams agents that we can give our business to. So it's really nice. And then also when you have your marketing profile, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, other agents will find you and say, Hey, I want to give you business. My, my aunt needs a, to buy a house in California. So, um, under this opportunities, this is where you track what you have in escrow. This is where you track how uh, your where your clients are. This is a really hefty section until you get into transactions. Um, I would say this is uh, a little bit more advanced, and we can do more one on one work with that when we get when you get to the point where you actually have clients going into escrow. Um, you will upload all your documents here into your opportunities for each client that you have. Um, so it's, it's just a really, uh, for, for just your first day, we're, we're really not worried about, um, opportunities. Uh, those will definitely come for you and you will be, uh, fully immersed in opportunities once you have a, a client that you're working with. Uh, under the campaigns tab here, the campaigns is where you go to get emails, um, create emails. You want to send out a mass email to your database. Um, you want to make a nice HTML, you want to make it pretty, you want to, you know, post a picture, you know, all this thing. Um, here's some quick posts. Look at, they, they give you some things that you can just quick post real quick. So that's really nice. So you don't have to, Hey, what do I, what am I supposed to post today? Well, here, go to the quick post and you'll be able to find something. Um, you want to create a, uh, a social media post, you know, um, There are, here's some social posts here. So here's all of the stuff. And you can even, when you integrate your um, Facebook and Instagram profiles here, you can create a social post all the way up for the next week. And this, the command system will post those for you to your social. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to post something every single day. That's boring and that's harder. I don't have time. Then you sit down for an hour on Monday. You create Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday posts. And then command will take care of it and actually post it for you. So you look like you're posting every single day and, um, you know, it looks good for you. So here's another, uh, some quick posts here that you can use. Uh, do I have any draft posts? No. Um, paid ads. If you, once you get into wanting to pay an ad, um, uh, pay, pay for an ad, then you will be able to, um, uh, you'll be able to get this, uh, going here. Um, I had a Lancaster ad here. You can see that I did, I got seven leads off of this one, uh, Maricopa land. Um, I ran it for 10 days for two, for $50. Um, and I got 10 leads off of, uh, off that ad. And you see here, I got 17 leads, 41 leads, zero leads on that one. Uh, 352 87 here I got 320 leads off of my listing on eucalyptus and this was in 2019 so this was before even it got really crazy but I got a lot of leads so that was good 31 cents a lead 44 so the campaigns work um, to get ads it's weird that this says that um, this was rejected because it actually is a currently running ad so I'm not really sure why it says that but uh, that's fun 
here's some emails here's a draft tax email that I was going to create um, that you know just says hey use your tax refund to purchase a house um, you know save that money so all that stuff so um, you get 5,000 emails per month with the command mail so you can send 5,000 emails per month uh, for free using that using that system uh, reports this is a little bit more advanced but this is where you can go to see your goals um, what's going on with your um, your whole system or whatever texts and calls if you're using them like this is where you go to watch to see what's happening with your system and then designs um, des uh, command designs this is where you go to create uh, here's some Here's the ones that I did. Here's some Labor Day, um, Welcome Fall, Happy Halloween. So I uh, I I I create or I use the templates and then I just added my logo. Like you can see this one. Let's see if can I click on it. Okay, so it'll open up the editor here, and then I can look at my Happy Halloween posts that I'm going to post on Halloween. That's some spider webs. Here's my logo here. Here's all of the logos that I like to use. You can add some text. Um, here's more logos. These are like Keller Williams logos as well. These are my assets, so these are the ones that I uploaded myself. But I could go to Workspace, and let's just say I want to use KW logo. I just want to use a regular KW logo or just the big KW or, you know, whatever. It gives you all of the logos that you need, more elements that you can play with. So all of these things that you can, um, you know, you can mess around with. Here, if you want to add a listing to uh, one of your social posts, um, let's see, Zero Maricopa Road. Let me see if I can find it. Atlanta, Ohio. There it is. So I can select this and I can go, you know, I really want to use one of the pictures from my listing in this post. So I can go, boop, there it is. And now it just inserted the picture from my, from my listing into this post. Now obviously this doesn't make sense and I would never use this picture here so I'm going to delete it but anything that you do you can add listing information to. You can even animate some stuff right? Um, so I can do happy okay um, I can animate let's see if we This would be cool. I wonder if this will work. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that worked because it was a picture. But anyways, you can do a lot of different things. Um, I've never played with a lot of those types of things. So, um, But this is available to you as well. Here's the listings, right? I think that this is still um, under construction, this particular spot here. Let me see, sync my listings, search by address. Okay, let's see. There we go. I am in the primary listing. Oh, so I have to verify. I have to verify that I can use that. Okay, I confirmed that that is the case. Okay, so um, what it's going to do, it looks like what it's going to do is if other listings are found in the MLS, they should link to command. So basically I confirmed one of my listings and it should pull all of the rest of my listings into uh, my command uh, my command thing, but it takes 72 hours. So since I've never played with that, uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. But you won't really use that right away anyways. And then consumer is going to be the other important one that we're going to talk about today. Consumer is where you create your website. Here is my website here. Um, and yeah, we're going to talk about your website, your marketing profile, and how to get all that stuff set up. So we should be able to see, I don't know why it's taking so long to load. There it is. Okay, so here is my website. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and allow 
my logo is right here. The Keller Williams logo is here. Um, Collins Family Realty Group, here's the menu. So here's all my social stuff. Here's the pages I've created. Um, when you create your website, you will have three pages. You'll have about me, profile, and contact me. These are the three pages that you'll have. And then as you move along and you want to create your own custom uh, websites, uh, we can talk about that later, custom web pages. You can add those things later and figure that stuff out. So a client can come in here and sign up for my website and they can search for properties. Let's just say they want to be, um, they want to find uh, something in Hesperia. So now it's going to bring up a map of properties near Hesperia. Um, so here's all of the homes and I can go, I can look in here and I can max price, let's just say 400,000. Done. Property type, I definitely want a house, I don't want a condo. And then I want a four bedroom or better. There we go, here's all the four bedroom homes near around Hesperia. Here it looks like this one's got an open house because I can. it has the little calendar icon here. So typically that means if we look at it, it'll show that there's an open house soon. Uh, there we go. Open Saturday, 12, 12 at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I can, as a person, I can say, hey, I'm going to ask my agent, Brian Collins, if I can um, view this house or I can schedule a live tour um, or I can say, hey, I'm going to go to this open house, whatever I want to do. Um, they can favorite listings here. They can save it. They can share it to social media. They can share it to um, anywhere. It just copies the link of this. And it's pretty cool. Lots of different information for each of the listings. Homes nearby. Hey, you know, that one didn't work out, but look at this one. Well, this one's pending, but this one's still active on Spellman. We could uh, definitely make this one work or something. So it's a cool little website to have, and it will be something that you can use. There's an app that you can have your clients download. Really cool. Um, you can also create single family or single property landing pages or landing pages for any reason at all for any of your lead generation needs. Those are pretty cool, but those are a little bit advanced and we'll, we can talk about those at a later time. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's go back to our contacts now and let's go in and add a contact so that we can play around with them for just a minute. We're going to load up our contacts here, and then we're going to click on this button up here that says add a contact. Um, and add a contact, what do we get here? Pretty basic, full name. Um, we're going to call it uh, Tommy Tester. Personal email is going to be 123main, no, 123. <laughs> right? Because we don't really have an email address for him. Uh, and then personal is going to be a phone number, so let's just say 760 Right, because that's pretty easy there. Lead source, this is important. Where did you get this lead from? Um, you're going to want to know where all of your people that you're interacting with come from, whether they came from a Google ad, a Facebook ad, maybe they came from social media organically, maybe they were a referral from a friend or a family member. If you have a friend or family member already saved in here, you can actually select a contact and say, hey, this person came from this other person. So then you can send that person a thank you. Um, otherwise, you have a list to choose from. There's a bunch of things. Maybe an agent sent you that. Re that's, uh, if an agent sent you that, that lead. An allied resource, that's going to be vendors, right? So that's a lender said, hey, look, I've got a person who's pre-qualified, but they don't have a vendor. A, a, uh, uh, agent yet. So I want to give them to you because you, you know, are a good person. Um, maybe someone out there, you, you're friends with a, a pest company person and they're like, Hey, um, I was just at this house. Um, and they're going to, they, they, they're doing a pest inspection because they want to sell their house soon, but they don't have an agent. Here's their contact information. That's an allied resource. Anybody who's friendly with you. Um, Boomtown is a CR, a CRM. Maybe it's a buyer, right? Um, a call in circle prospecting that's your that's your sphere of influence um, maybe it came from command web pages anywhere that you got their information there's tons of different things in here lots of lots of lots of different possible options um, that you can select as the lead source so for this one we're just going to say it's an allied resource and then you have two options down here mark as lead or add to sales pipeline when you're adding this person, you've never actually contacted them yet, right? 
you, you, you have no idea who they are. They, they, they just came to you from somebody and you have not had any, made any contact with them. You click this button here to mark them as a lead. And then you can see right here, um, you get this little L next to this. That means that person is a lead. They've never been contacted. And then eventually you can unmark them as a lead and turn them into, you know, uh, and mark them as a, uh, a hot resource or, you know, uh, an active person that you're actually working with. Um, or let's say you're like, hey, I'm already I'm starting a transaction with these people. I don't know why I didn't have them in my command database, but here I'm gonna add them to my sales pipeline, right? So when you add them to your sales pipeline, that's going to create that opportunity for you right off the bat. Um, and then the most important thing that you can do in your database is tags. You should know where every single one of your people come from. That's what the that's what the lead source is there for. But you should also be able to, at a glance, look to see what they're about. So let's just say Tommy Fake Tommy Tester is um, a buyer. So I'm going to put in here buyer. Look at here's buyer buyers past buyer verified. Oh, that's a, so buyer. If it's in gray, it's a um, all of your tags will be in gray because those are the system generated tags. Um, let's just say that there is one in here. Let's just say this person is coming from, I don't know, they live in Illinois, right? Uh, let's see if I can spell this right. I don't know if that's spelled right or not. Uh, oops, I L I N I O. I don't know, that, I don't think that's spelled right. I'm gonna say Kansas, <laughs> I can spell Kansas. Okay, so Kansas, that's not a tag, but I know that they live in Kansas and they're moving to California, so I'm gonna create a custom tag Kansas. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to make it a green tag and then I'm going to hit add. Now I have a green tag called Kansas, but I know that they're a buyer, right? So I'm going to also choose my buyer. Maybe they're relocating. Relocating to California, right? I'm going to make it a big tag. Relocating to California. Custom tag. Red. Add it. Um, and yeah, so that's fine. And then it was, uh, what did I say the source was from Allied Resource? Um, referral from I don't know, Dixon Pest. Right? So now I have a referral from Dixon Pest. I'll make that orange. Add. So I just added three tags. And now when I look at this person, I'll know, hey, they're from Kansas. They are a buyer. They're relocating to California. And they're a referral from Dixon. So if I ever need to go back and say, well, how many people have, has Dixon sent me over the years? I can search for the tag referral from Dixon and I will know that Dixon has sent me 14 people over the past like three or four years. Like that's a lot. That's good. I'm going to take Dixon out to dinner for sure. I'm going to be like, listen, you guys deserve this. Here's a, you know, here's a gift card for a restaurant like, or here's a case of beer, you know, whatever. If I know this, you know, if I know them well enough to give them a personal gift like that, I think that is something fantastic. So tags as you're putting them in, as you're putting your contacts in are gonna be super, super important. I've done this before where I've forgotten to put tags in, I had to go back and try to do it and it's just so much easier when it's fresh in your mind. Um, then there's also additional information, right? So you can even go down here to additional contact information. How do they prefer? They don't. They, they only want emails, they only like phone calls, they don't like text messages or whatever, however you wanna do it, whatever their preferred is, you can select it. Here's an additional email. Maybe they have an additional email. They're like, hey, you know, I use my personal, but I usually use my work. Put them both in there. Additional phone numbers. Home address. This is great. Primary home address. Um, primary shoot address. So you can do same as mailing address, right? Because you can add a mailing address in there. If you know their Facebook profiles, you can put that in there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn, Pinterest. Google Plus doesn't exist anymore. Snapchat, how's the link? And there's all MySpace, really. Uh, website. You know, just a regular website or whatever. Oh, put put in their URL, and then every time you click add, you can get another one. So you can go Facebook, and then you know you can do all of these things um, and create uh, new, you know, new new Facebook profiles or new um, new links so that you can keep track of their social media. And command will actually update you and say, hey, look, they put a post on Facebook or they put a post on Twitter, so you can follow them. Uh, and you can keep up with their lives and you can use that to say, hey, uh, I just saw that you, you know, you're, you just had a, a grandbaby. Congratulations. That sort of thing. More things. Birthday, home anniversary. That's a big one. When they buy their home with you, update their home anniversary. Every year, command will remind you, hey, your past client just bought a home. This is their one year anniversary for their home. You can, you know, send them a card. You can call them, text them, whatever you want to do. 
name their spouse. I'd add you can also add parents. You can add um, son, daughter, brother, sister, sibling, parent, whoever they are. You can add all of their family members. If they have a work, put their work name and their job title. And then under custom, you can add a custom field. You want to put some random piece of information in there. All of those things are fine. So we're going to go ahead and hit create. And this is going to create uh, Tommy Tester here in our system. And you can see created February 9th, created February 9th. Um, tags, here's all the tags that we use. What stage are they in? Their primary phone number. Here's their primary email and who owns this. You'll always own your contacts um, until if you get onto a team or something like that, and then uh, maybe the team might own the contacts, but that's that's for later. Now that we have our contact, now we can go into Tommy Tester and we can see exactly what we're looking at here. So now you can see Tommy Tester's contact health score is 68%. We're missing a physical address and maybe a spouse name or you know something else. Um, I have my, my command hooked up to iCloud, so that way if I put somebody in command, it automatically syncs to my, my iPhone. My contacts just show up. A Tommy Tester, let's see, if it, let's see how fast it worked. No, I don't have it yet, which honestly I'd be surprised if I did because it only was like five seconds. So, um, so eventually this one right here, since it says excess, successfully shared, so now... Um, the API nation is going to push that eventually to my phone here. Um, and that'll be good. Uh, okay. So now we have these different things in here. Um, we can add a neighborhood if we know where Tommy lives, right? We can search for a neighborhood. So let's just say Victor Valley. He lives in the Victor Valley neighborhood. These neighborhoods are created in, uh, next door. That's where they get these neighborhoods from. You could find on a map, right? So you can search for a location. You can go one, two, let's just say, uh, this is my old rental address a few years ago. So you can see here, that's where his address, that's where my address is. So it falls right here under this Victor Valley. So we can go ahead and assign that. And he, he saved it, we've saved it into the Victor Valley. Um, now what this does is every month it's going to send an update to Tommy's email address and it's going to say, hey, all of the homes, home sales, all the same home prices, um, what's recently sold, what's recently listed, just once a month that you're going to get a little email. That's it. You don't even need a smart plan for it. You could just leave it like that and then every month they're going to get data that you provide to them. Um, here's all the, all, the, um, all that information that you could have put in there that all would show up there. You can see where you got Tommy from, all this good stuff. You can edit Tommy. You can add to a smart plan or change account, um, change it to a different person. That's a team thing. Um, but here the timeline is what you're going to see. Anytime, if Tommy downloads your app, you're going to see a little bot block here that says Tommy downloaded your app. If Tommy you know, searches and favorites a home, you're going to see Tommy favorited this home. Here's the details of this home. So all you have to do is open up Tommy's and you're going to get notifications as well on the command app. But you're going to see all of these things, um, you know, jump out at you. And so, you know, Hey, Tommy's actively searching for homes. Maybe I should reach out to Tommy and really try to connect with them. Um, opportunities. If Tommy had an opportunity, if you, if you wanted to make an offer on a home, you'd create an opportunity, smart plans. You can add Tommy to a smart plan here. Any tasks specifically related to Tommy are here notes. You want to add a note, um, looking, let's see, Tommy is, looking for a new home add note there we go so now I know Tommy's looking for a new home and look at what happens when I go into my timeline Tommy is looking for a new home let's see can I put this out of the way there we go um, Tommy's looking for a new home and yeah so that's the timeline and then you can see the note has a one here because that means we have one note here Save searches. If Tommy had a save search or you can create a save search. So Tommy's like, I don't know how to do that app thing. You do it for me. Click on create search and then you can search by neighborhood, search, find it on a map, whatever price, keywords, properties, do all of the different things. Search by beds, bath, um, listing status. You should probably remove um, pending and probably coming soon you could leave, but I would remove pending because nobody wants to see the houses that they did, they can't buy. Like, oh, it'd be great to have that home, but it was already pending. Sorry. That, so take that out for sure. Um, has parking, open house. You can do all these things and hit next. 
And then I, it's probably not going to let me because I don't have a neighborhood. So let's just I'll just put in Victor Valley again. So any of those neighborhood is fine. He already lives in that neighborhood. That's who he wants to be there. So Victor Valley. Search. Okay. Send email notifications. Send weekly. You can send them instant, daily, weekly, bi-weekly. It means every two weeks, every other Monday, or once a month. However you want. For homes, if someone's actively searching for homes, you should send instant. Meaning if a new home comes onto the market and it, once it hits the system, within 30 minutes, an email is sent to Tommy saying, hey, a new home just hit the market. Let's go look at it. Um, but you could just do a daily, weekly if they're just browsing and perusing. If they're not fully like ready to make that purchase yet, but they're just kind of seeing what's on there, I would do daily or weekly so that you're not overwhelming them every day a, a new house comes on the market. Um, yeah, I would give them like a weekly summary. And then you save that search. So now we've got to save search. So now Tommy test. Um, I'm sorry. If, I hope somebody doesn't actually have that email address because they're probably going to start getting a bunch of stuff from me. So there we go. So that's, that's contacts. That's how you add a contact and you kind of touch them. And look, every time you do something with them, you can um, hit this plus sign here. And then you can either add a calendar event you can add a note or you can add an activity. What does an activity mean? An activity is like, hey, you know what I did? Um, I had a meeting with him today. Or hey, I had a phone call with him on this day. Or I emailed him on this day. I texted him from this day. I need another note. Whatever it was, you had a meeting, met about pre-approval. Okay, you can put has responded there or whatever, but it's fine. An activity. So now this activity is going to be logged in the timeline. So I go, oh yeah, February, February 9th, I had a meeting about um, their pre-approval. Um, you can see I created my ser the search for him at Victor Valley Search, and it creates a link. So if I click on this, it's going to bring up the link. Um, so timeline. Um, maybe I... Oh, and the other thing, you have a KW email address that we will um, talk about here in just a minute as well. Um, when you go into uh, your settings, under the settings here, there is a uh, integrations. If you connect your KW email account to uh, command, when you send it, let's just say you're in your Gmail app on your phone, right? And you send a KW email from your from your email address to Tommy to this registered email address right here. What it's going to do is it will log the email that you sent right here in the timeline. It automatically logs it right in command. They work together. Um, like I said, Google and command work very well together. And since your KW email account is a Gmail Google account, um, they mesh perfectly. So as soon as you send that email, it's going to show up here in the timeline saying, hey, I sent you an email, you know, talking about whatever it was you're talking about. So all of these things kind of work together so that you don't have to like pay attention. You don't have to track everything. As long as your email, the email address for your client is registered and you're sending it from your KW email address, everything will be recorded right here. So that's pretty awesome. Um, okay, what else are we talking about here? Let's talk about your marketing profile because this is going to be one of the most important things. So let's look at that. You go up here into your settings uh, and then we're going to look right here to, oh yeah, settings. I know it says profile, but that's something different. I don't, I don't know why. Um, so here's your integrations automatically when you go here. So you can um, add your Facebook for post scheduling, Twitter for post scheduling, and Facebook for ads manager. So that way you can create ads and stuff like that. Um, here's Google Calendar and Gmail. Oh, that's weird that my Gmail account's not connected. It must have unconnected. Um, here is Twitter. And then you have a Google AdWords if you want. Office 365, you can log in there as well. Command email you have by default. If you use MailChimp, you can do that. And then Twilio, um, you'd have to subscribe to it. But like I said, it's about $3, $3 a month, um, three to like $10 a month or whatever, just depending on how many text messages you think you're going to send. Um, Twilio is how the system will automatically send uh, text messages on your behalf. Uh, so it's a very good program to have. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to command settings. Nope, just kidding. Sorry. Connect settings. 
and we're going to go to marketing profile. That's what we want. Connect settings, marketing profile. So what you're going to need for this section, you're going to need your headshot. Um, I have a team logo. You probably won't have a team logo, um, so you don't need to put anything in your team logo there. Uh, and then you're going to need to fill out your details. First name, last name, your license number, um, uh, your, if you have a team name, what your professional job title is. So you are a realtor. And then if you have a, uh, if you have a PSA designation, then you should be able to put that in there too. Um, designations or credentials are about the same thing. If you have military affiliation, that's cool. Here's your bio that you can write office, mobile, email, website, all this good stuff. Your brokerage information. Keller Williams Victor Valley is your brokerage name, not Keller Williams Realty, not Keller Williams Real Estate not Keller Williams, not KW. Keller Williams, Victor Valley. So please make sure that you are putting that in your brokerage name. Here's the phone number for your brokerage, the um, uh, mailing address, 6550 Caliente Row, Hesperia, Row, Hesperia, California. And then the market center brokerage is 1901986372. And this is where you'll upload your market center or brokerage logo. Now you're probably thinking, where is that? I don't have a broker brokerage logo. That's where you go over to KW Connect, right? If you click on your, um, oh, up here, KW Connect, and then you're clicking on this little tab down here. That will open up KW Connect here, and then you can use uh, under Resources, Marketing. The very first thing that pops up right here is logos and branding. And logos and branding. You can download this um, PDF. It's a style guide. And what it does will show you all the different ways that you can use the Keller Williams logo and um, how you should use it. And it's definitely a good idea to browse there. Um, different types of ownership, whatever. But what you want to do is put in 451 as our market center number. Or you can even type Victor Valley. You don't even have to type the whole thing. And here is the Victor Valley logos. And when you click on download, you're going to get a... It'll open up with this folder here that's downloaded into your downloads folder. And then you have some black and white. Um, uh, CYMK is just a type of color. Uh, the PMS is also another color. So RGB is where I would say go to RGB. And the PNG file here is the Keller Williams in white, red, and gray with a clear, um, it has a clear background, so you can put it on anything. This is the red and white logo. You can't see it because it's a white background, but this is also just red and white um, with a clear background. So both of these right here will work very well, and you can see it says Keller Williams Market, uh, Victor Valley Market Center on there. So you can just use that. Oops, where is... I need to go all the way back here. Go to my connect settings. Just go back here, marketing profile. So now I can upload this. I can upload this picture right here. That's where you get your command logo. Um, under footer, um, most of the web pages already have all of the footer stuff, so you really don't need to put anything in there. Um, you can put your social media posts, all of your social media links in here. These are links, not usernames, not uh, anything like that. You just you have to put the whole entire URL. And how you do that is um, you go to, let's just say, facebook.com. Um, if I wanted to put my page in there, I would go to my pages, go to my page. So here I'm going to copy this and go here and paste it into here. So that is my uh, in fact most of these already have changed. That one didn't change. Um, so all of your Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, these are the ones I usually use. I, I, I don't actually use LinkedIn so I should probably just delete that because I don't want people going there. And then we're going to click save and it's going to save your marketing profile and it'll say it was saved from now on. When we talk about your setting up your website, you want to make sure that this right here is checked to green. Okay. It's just saying that everything was updated. Um, 
when you do your agent website, if this is not checked, this little button here is not green, what's going to happen is it's going to default to all of the normal Keller Williams um, corporate stuff. Um, it's not going to brand your, your Facebook page. It's not going to brand anything to you at all. It's only going to, oh, less than one megabyte, jeez. Okay, so it has to be less than one megabyte, so there's that. Seven, five, so I only have one that's less than one megabyte. Um, yeah. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to put my marketing logo. There we go. So I just wanted to update that stuff because that hasn't been updated in a minute. Okay. So if this right here isn't checked, your your website will not be branded with all of your information. So as long as we've got all this stuff here, you are good to go. Now we can go back to Keller Williams and um, let's see. Da, da, da. So you're going to want to take some time and make sure you fill all this stuff out, especially your bio. Your bio is going to be very important. Um, I would definitely write something. If you don't, if you think I can't write this about myself, I don't know how to do this. Think about it yourself in the third person. Think about yourself looking at yourself thinking, oh, when I wrote it, I said, what do I think about Brian Collins? And it's, you know, I had to write it like that. And then I also had other people that know me and love me um, help with their input um, because they are going to help as well. So let's, uh, let's talk about setting up your website because a lot of people, that's where they get really antsy. They want to start directing people on social media to um, their website. So we are going to go over here to the consumer tab. That's the tab all the way here at the bottom. Um, and then um, we, so mine's already set up, so I don't really have the way to, uh, you won't have this blue bar here because you haven't set anything up yet. So you will probably have to go into site and app settings and then go to, um, if you don't see learn with Kelly guides, maybe under agent site settings, but you should see learn more with Kelly guides. And it's going to ask you which guide would you like to complete? agent site or consumer settings. You want to cons you want to do agent site. And what it's going to do, it's going to say leave, that's fine. So it's going to bring you to this little thing here and it's going to actually help you create your website. It's going to walk you through everything. So you're going to click on get started. It's going to give you a compliance reminder, but um, you already did everything that you needed for compliance, so you're good to go. Just acknowledge and continue. First thing you're going to do is create your subdomain, which is this part right here. So for me, it's for my um, my team name is Collins Family Realty Group. So I had Collins Family Realty Group .kw.com. Yours could be your first name last name .kw.com or first name last name Realtor .kw.com if you have a common name um, or nickname or you know, whatever you want it to do. You got to keep it professional. You cannot use the word you cannot use KW um, in your um, subdomain. Uh, just so that you know. And then each one of these sections, as you go through this, here's marketing profile information. So this should pull from the marketing profile that you just completed. So you, it'll be fine to put all this stuff in here, make sure everything is correct. Sometimes uh, it will delete stuff or whatever. I don't know why it does that, but so you can go through here. Here's your profile picture, uh, logos, all that good stuff, social media stuff. Awesome. And then this is your KW app link, which I don't, it should be, if you've done your marketing profile, you should see this right here. What this link is, is this is a link that you can share with your clients via text message, email, or on social media, and they click on it, they download the app to their phone, the KW consumer app, and then they get basically this um, version of your website on their phone, but it's all branded to you already. That's the, that's the key there. It's all branded to you already. So you would be their agent. So every time they open it up and if they register and they log in, they create a login, you're going to see all of that information pop up in your command under their name. You're going to see on that timeline, you're going to see all the activity that they were doing. So, um, so this is all very important to have. We're going to save and continue. It'll tell you you've successfully, uh, set up your, mm, your uh, subdomain, which is awesome. You can choose between dark and red theme. Here's your homepage text, right? So right here, start your new home search here. You can change this. 
um, to find your dream home, whatever you want to do. Upload a hero image. That's this image right here on, that will show on your website. Um, I uploaded one, two, three, four, five. These are five pictures that I took myself. These are my personal listings. So if you don't have um, uh, pictures that you took yourself, there there are some default ones that you can use for the time being. But I would recommend putting pictures up that are local to your area. It just makes your website feel more like, hey, I, I know that. I've been to that store. I've been to that neighborhood or you know that sort of thing. Um, Lots of different things that you can do. Just drive down neighborhoods you really like. Take pictures of, um, you know, decent, of good-looking houses. Um, it's not illegal to do that, and there is no, uh, there is no. The people could yell at you, but there's no, uh, there's no legal illegality to taking picture of homes. Um, try not to take picture of people, kids. They get really angry about that, and you know, whatever. But you don't understand. Like you, uh, keep it simple. So you can see how this page is going to set up and it's even going to have this let's talk uh, contact form. If they fill out this form, you're going to get a notification and they're going to get an, you're going to get an email and you're going to say, hey, this person just registered on your website. That's awesome. Sorry, I want to make sure that these are fine. Your dream home now. Save and continue. Okay, so it says find your dream home now. Sounds a little commanding. Um, so company profile, you can actually change this to be whatever you want. You can change this picture, your company profile. I think on mine, um, my company profile, I just changed it to profile. And this is what I use it for. I took a picture out in the desert. I thought it was a really cool view. Um, and then I put up here what my goal is, um, talking about buying services or uh, just talking about my my agent services, uh buying services and then I put some stuff down here about selling a home. You can use my website here. It's collinsfamilyrealtygroup.kw.com. Go to profile, copy and paste it, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you change the names and make it your own a little bit. Um, I don't care if you copy it though. And then I took three pictures of, here's a house of me with a buyer. Um, here is a picture of a house that I took that I had for sale and that was it. So I just needed, I needed three pictures for this, uh, for this deal. So under company profile, the name company profile, I just put my name, right? So I just put Brian, uh, Brian J. Collins, realtor, right? So now I don't have to worry about um, this thing, weird company profile or whatever. And then I can go in here under content and I can, here's the company, oh, company profile. Brian J. Collins, realtor. Right, make that a little bit nice. Here's an intro paragraph to intro, intro your business. Head title, here's a title, here's a description, put a picture. Picture, title, description, and then here's a footer headline. That's where I use for my seller information or whatever. So it's just, however you wanna play with it, play with it. But now you know what to kind of do when you're in there so you can kind of think of it before you actually start going. Um, and then when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and hit continue. Each one of these little buttons here Okay, these are important. Each one of these little arrows is something that you have to figure out. The navigation, if you're like, hey, look, at, I, want, I want my about me before the company profile. You can change the navigation. Um, or I want contact first and then about me and then a company profile or whatever. SEO, search engine optimization. Um, this is right here. You can see it says Collins Family Realty Group. That is my SEO page title right there. Collins Family. Welcome to KW Connect. Welcome to KW. Collins Family Realty Group up here on Facebook. This is the SEO page title. So you have the control to put that whatever you want. Um, you can even change the, um, so if I put, instead of profile, if I put about, right? Because right here it says uh, URL slug slash about. So if I put in here slash about and hit enter, it's gonna take me to my about page. In three, two, one, hopefully. No, still not yet. Oh my gosh, this is getting embarrassing. Why isn't it working? There we go. Okay, so here's my about page here. It's gonna load a little uh, thing up top. My, um, it's got my old profile picture with my new profile picture. Here we go, here's about Brian. I've got my little um, my little blurb, my contact information. Here's the interview that I did um, with the school that I teach. 
here's the thing about downloading my application, right? So if they go to about me, they can look at my, my, my interview, they can download my app and all of this stuff is already built in here for you, except for the video. I had to add the video myself because I added that. Um, but you can go in here under content and create, you know, all this stuff here. Yeah. So it's good. Hit continue. Here's another contact us page again, SEO, the content, you can change all of the content here. It is. It's fine. It's good. And then it's going to save and then it's going to say, Hey, your website has your, your website will automatically launch with the moments. What would you like to do now? And then you can go to site FAQs, um, go to site settings or create more sites. So we just go to create site settings that takes us back to our um, web page here. Now I do have, because I just created all of those new pages, um, I'm going to have duplicates of my pages. So I'm going to delete all these new pages that I just created because I don't actually need them there. Delete that one, February 9th, delete that one, February 9th. And then where's my other February 9th one? Oh, I just created the two pages. So all of those pages in there, um, you know, and then when you go to your web page, if you refresh your web page, um, it will actually have all of those new pages loaded here in your site. And then you're ready to rock and roll. You can share your, um, your URL with anybody that you need. Um, all right. So hopefully that got you mostly set up with command. Um, now, if you want to play around with stuff, you have stuff to play around with, um, download the, con if you download the consumer app, um, that's great. You can do that, but you're going to have to create a login as a consumer in order to use it. The consumer app is not for, sorry, the consumer app is not for you to go in like play around with. Um, so if you want to figure out what the consumer app looks like, register with like your personal email and your personal phone number and do all that stuff. Um, so that you can get in there and play around with it. Um, that's what the consumer experience is going to be. It's not for you. The KW command app is going to be a square icon that looks like this. It's got the red KW or it's red background, white KW. That is the KW command app. That is where you can go in just like this command and you can talk to, you can, um, uh, manage your contacts and do some other stuff in there. Uh, right now that's a up and coming app or whatever that they just released a, a few months ago. So, uh, it's fairly new. So definitely get in there, play around with it. And then of course, if you have any questions, um, feel free to email me, Brian Collins at kw.com, uh, or give me a call and, uh, let me know what's going on. Okay. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.